what is going on you guys and welcome to today's video say hi mom say hi angel baby hi say hi she is getting so smart whenever i pull out the camera to try to record her she'll just stop what she's doing like stop being so cute and i'm like dang it she doesn't like her photo being taken sometimes but i trick her with the treat so that's how i've been getting all the cute ones if you guys don't already know she has her own instagram i am the crazy dog mom <laughs> What's going on guys and welcome to today's video. It is 10.30. I'm just about to let Miss Muffin out to pee and then I'm going to be heading to the gym to train with my coach. Of course, we're gonna be training legs. That is what we do on Wednesdays. That is what we do with him. That is when I die. Is mom gonna die today? Blink if yes. Blink if yes. There was a blank and she's like, I'm so over you. <laughs> so I'm gonna let her out to pee, pour some coffee to go and let's go, let's go get it. What is going on you guys and welcome to today's workout commentary. I am so happy to let you guys know that you are gonna be getting an awesome glute pump here, a nice booty pump without any conventional squats or deadlifts. How excited are you guys right now? I know, this workout was actually one of my favorites. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. As always, it's going to be written down in the description box for you to screenshot and try on your own and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. So to start off the workout, we're doing some single leg cable Romanian deadlifts. Make sure that you are engaging your core, keeping your shoulders back and down, getting a nice stretch with that hamstring and then pulling it back up. The resistance band around my leg was just for some added glute isolation and activation. And that is going to happen by trying to keep that back leg as straight as possible. So you're pretty much getting like a static glute kick back there as well. Then we're gonna move on to our first superset, which is the abductors with a single leg lateral press. So for the abductors, make sure that you are leaning forward just slightly, position your body forward, but don't put weight on the machine, squeezing when you pull your legs apart. And then for the single leg lateral press, you're doing it on the glute kickback machine, just turning your body at a lateral angle, kind of creating a 90 degree with your knee and your ankle slightly and push through your heel. So this is going to be working the outer area of the booty. You should definitely be feeling it. Mine were in knots. So moving on to actually one of my favorite exercises that we did in this workout, which is the single leg cable squat. And then we're doing a resistance band sweep. So you're putting it around your knees and you're getting it in about like a half circle, a half moon kind of right there. And that's going to be like a constant tension on your glutes with a glute kickback. So you're squatting down, having all the weight in your heel, uh, squatting back up, and then you're doing that glute kickback with the resistance band. Lots and lots of focus on the glutes here, all in the glutes, especially the outer glutes. And then where you're super setting that with some single leg glute kickbacks as well with a pause hold squeeze at the top. To finish off the workout, we did some froggy jumps. They were traveling froggy jumps with a jump squat. So try to get as far as you can with the froggy jump and then as high as you can with the jump squat. And that is going to be it for the workout. Let me know what you guys think. That ain't the end, that ain't the end. <laughs> Back at home now, you guys, and this hair is so sweaty post-workout. It's not even funny. It's, it's hair washing day. What, Muffin? What? 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 She's getting so good at sitting. She didn't even poop or pee in her kennel. Hi. She wants me to play with her. But first, I'm sorry, honey. Give me two more minutes. Okay, I had to pay attention to her because she's been waiting for me for so long. So. Grocery haul, really quickly. I got everything that I need and everything that I eat on a daily basis. I got some sweet potatoes, that is my favorite carb. The only time I like rice is when I'm eating it with sushi and I don't really like quinoa. Sweet potatoes are just my favorite. Favorite, favorite, favorite. I love them. Salmon, you guys know I love my salmon. I eat salmon every single day. It's really good for protein and some healthy fats. My favorite is Atlantic fresh salmon, sorry, uh, sockeye salmon. This is amazing. It's just my favorite kind. I really enjoy it. And this bag 
is $17 from Costco and there's five fillets in there. Last time I said fillets, people were like giving me trouble for it. Fillets, fillets, whatever. There's five, it's such a good deal. And then for my other protein, I got some tilapia. I personally really enjoy tilapia. I just think that it's a nice thick fish that is like really meaty and I just like the texture and the taste. So I got some of that. Got some egg whites. I have egg whites twice a day. I love it. They're just so good. You can make them sweet. You can make them savory. They're my fave. I have them in the morning and at night. Then I got some zucchini. Comment down below what your guys' favorite vegetable is. Because mine, I would have to say, is broccolini and green beans. And then some broccoli. And my little sister saved the day today, guys. If you watched my last video, you would have seen that I did some low carb recipes and new pasta was in it, which is a 25 calorie pasta made out of fiber from konjac root, whatever the heck that is. And it's just a really great alternative for pasta if you're on prep like me or you want a low carb slash cal meal, voluminous meal without the calories. This thing is a lifesaver when I'm on prep and a girl that follows me on Instagram actually sent me a picture and was like, hey, new pasta's on sale at my superstore and it never goes on sale, ever. 2.58, it was near where my sister lived so I have eight. Seriously, she saved the day. Thank you, Morgan. <laughs> okay, so that is my little mini grocery haul. P.S. You guys are gonna love that workout because it was all glutes with no squats or deadlifts. And then to finish it off, I did 25 minutes on the Stairmaster level 12 to 13. All right, so before I shower, finally, I prepped everything and I'm putting it in the oven and I figured that I would show you guys what I prep weekly. These are staples in my diet and how simple it is just to prep them and stay on track. So this is probably gonna last me about two to three days and that's how often I prep. I have the luxury to be able to prep multiple times a week and since I eat fish, I actually like to prep for about two, three days in advance. But if you guys eat chicken, I remember when I ate chicken, I would do like three, maybe Maybe four days in advance and as I go I make my vegetables just because I like them to be fresh or if I'm busy the next day then I'll prep them the night before but that is something that I do to keep them the most fresh because nobody likes soggy vegetables but I wanted to show you guys what my staples are for meal prep and just how simple it is so I have my oven preheating to 350, and that's what I'm gonna cook all of this on. These are some sweet potatoes. They stay in the oven a lot longer than the fish do. I just cut them all nicely into little circles like this, and then cut those in half. Now you can put seasoning on them, you can put cinnamon on them. I personally just like to leave them as is because I like to decide that day if I want them to be sweet or savory. So then this is the salmon. All the fish is frozen, as you guys know, but I like to just unthaw it in the fridge the night before. This has been my go-to. It's actually one of my favorite seasonings. You can get it at Costco and Superstore. It's so stinking good. And I like to put that on the salmon. And then the tilapia, I've been using an onion and herb Mrs. Dash lately. So that's been good, and that one's salt free. Not that you should avoid sodium as long as your water intake is good. You shouldn't fear it because your muscles actually need it. So these two things are gonna cook for about 25 minutes. Um, that is how long salmon should be cooked for. I personally don't like it well done, but about 25 minutes, and then these are probably gonna stay in for closer to 45. All right, there we go. We have our prepped salmon, tilapia, I have showered, washed my hair, and took off my dirty workout clothes to put on some clean ones. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> Leggings are life. So the sweet potatoes are still going. I don't know if I just said that. Mother Nature is uh, gracing me with her presence on my face. It's wonderful. But I feel like that is going to wrap up today's video, you guys. Short, sweet, straight to the point. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know by giving the video a thumbs up, show your support, and subscribe if you haven't already so that you guys can join me here for the next video. I'm thinking that the next one is going to be a back workout on Friday. So, my Friday, so your Saturday. All right, guys, I love you so much. Thank you for your continued support. As always, I have trouble talking, 
but that's it for now. <laughs> Love y'all. I'll see you in the next one.